the stock market is rigged. It really is. This was the first time in history that the mass public was able to see right before our eyes. So thank you to the Wall Street Bets community for removing the mask from this rigged game that these billionaires created and have been playing for decade. Now I am not saying that the stock market as a whole is rigged. Just under the table deals, bets and squeezes, insider knowledge and bribes that are conducted by the big fat cats up there with the billions that have enough push to manipulate the market in their favor. So in today's video, I will be giving you an insight with what regulation changes could be coming to the stock market and how the market is now being manipulated by trading brokers as society is now dictated by technocrats. So get bullish on that subscribe button to help this channel reach more viewers so I can get more comments on my bow tie and smash all the likes, bells and whistles to get all my updates on these fantastic investments and comment below with what you think. I do reply to every comment. Now, most of us who have been an investor for a while have always known that the hedge funds and corporate elites make the markets move and influence what happens to the overall market. And when we talk about it, it is called a conspiracy. But as you can see now, it is not a conspiracy. It is like a small club of billionaires betting with one another on what companies will do great and what companies will not do so great. And this has been the game all this time. And the average investor like us is like the annoying little brother or sister that wants to play. So you give them a small role in the game so they leave you alone while you play the real game. And that has always been the way it was. But little did the corporate elites know that there was something, just something brewing for a while now. And the collective gathering of the average investor overpowered the influence of the hedge funds and took down many of them. Before online brokers, the only way you could buy and sell stocks was over the phone. And the brokers had immense fees that deterred many people from getting into the market. But now with almost everything digital and simple technology being the driving force behind getting into stocks, pretty much the doors have opened for anyone with a device to start trading. But looking at what happened the past week with all the trading halts and limitations that many brokers did, can we say that it is the hedge funds and billionaires that we should be worried about? or the fact that these online brokers have the power to control what we can buy and sell and when we can buy and sell. Welcome to our new technocratic society. And for those that don't know what technocracy means, well, technocracy is the replacing of a political government system with a non-political government consisting of scientists and technicians. Simply put, management of society by technical experts. So instead of the government knowing what's best for society through democracy, Instead, it will be experts, these experts that will do what's best for the people based through technocracy. Now, technocracy is pretty much replacing democracy, and that is a fact. And an example of technocracy is when Twitter and Facebook silenced former President Donald Trump by banning him because it did not fit their narrative while still allowing horrendous, horrendous other things on their platform. Or when figures like Alex Jones or Louis Farrakhan get banned from social media platforms because they speak their opinions. And that too did not fit the technocrats narrative. So they were silenced and banned. And unfortunately, this is what is currently happening with many trading brokers. Now remember, this is not only a Robin Hood issue. This is a brokerage issue. And the only reason the other brokers are not getting the same negative flack is because Robin Hood is where most traders went for the momentous runs of last week because of ease of access and signing up. And as we all, and as we all witnessed when Robinhood halted and limited trading, they came up with many excuses and reasons for it. And some do make sense. Like Robinhood may not have had enough capital or 
funds to clear. There may have been some regulations that they had to follow and blah, 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 blah. But at the end, we will never really know the truth because the truth will not set them free. So my truth is that there was a ton of money being lost by the big guys, the big, big guys. They didn't have a game plan. They were blindsided and reacted like any other person would. When they see a bucket of water leaking, they plug the hole and the hole is the brokers. So they went up to their buddies, the brokers, and simply plugged the leak by halting trading. That gave them enough time to recoup and pivot. <laughs> For all my friends fans out there, pivot. So they had to pivot their game plan and control the situation. And so they did by pretty much halting all buying, limiting how many shares you can buy of certain stocks, flooding the news media with propaganda about the stocks and flagging forums that mention certain words. And with that pivot, they were able to cut their losses a little shorter. But many hedge funds are still on the brink of going under as Wall Street Bets has accomplished their mission. My awesome people, technocrats taking over the market is a big deal. I thought this was a free market, a market where your buys and sells are honored. No matter what the big guys do at the top, the ability to trade should never be halted or limited. If you are a broker, you are honoring the commitment between buyer and seller. And halts and limits should only happen in extreme cases like a public emergency, such as a terrorist attack, for example, 9-11, that's what happened to the market, or a massive natural disaster. Not in the cases where the big guys are upset that they're losing money to the little guys. And this goes to show that no one and nothing is safe from being controlled and manipulated by the technocrats. If brokers can limit and halt and even shadow ban stocks, then it is only right to say that they can also hold your shares hostage and accidentally add and remove shares without you knowing. And this, my awesome people, is the world that we are entering, the world of technocrats controlling our society from what we say online to what we can buy and sell. The cloak has been unveiled and we now know for a fact that brokers are not as unbiased as we thought they were. They will always cater to the big guys. So hopefully this is a moment in history where we have the opportunity to create more transparency in the market. So what is next, Jacob Rant? Well, now that this shorting frenzy has slowed down and the big guys have realized that they are not in full control anymore of the market, there will be major adjustments happening to the market in the near future. Although I and many others feel that transparency is the key to helping with this issue, knowing how the government behaves and the plans for this great reset, there will be plenty of new restrictions coming for how the stock market operates. Whether discussions online and on social media will constitute market manipulation, whether brokers will now adjust how they operate their margins and options, etc. Who knows what regulations will be implemented, but whatever they are, I assure you that it is not in the benefit of the small guys. My opinion for the time being, as this frenzy continues to slow down and with the upcoming market crash, a good investing strategy will be to focus on investing on strong and reliable, preferably dividend paying stocks like Coca-Cola and Walmart. Because while all these new changes are being implemented and taking effect to the stock market, why not get paid through dividends while you wait? Because once these changes take place, the market will start to boom once again. So again, I am not a financial advisor, so make sure you do your own research and consult your own financial professional. Thanks. There is so much wealth out there for all of us to get a piece of. So by allowing our hard earned money make us more money is the key to wealth and the key to financial success. So subscribe, 
like, and share to help out the channel. And so you will get notified of when I go on YouTube live or of my recent posts, as I will be posting my penny stocks, reads, dividends, and speculative stocks from my investment portfolio and any other investments I might be buying or selling. I want everyone to have the opportunity to get out of this work life trap by buying back their freedom through investing. So let's all ride 2021 together on a journey of health, love, success. So until the next video, stay ranting. <laughs>